Sadhana is not just sitting eyes closed and doing something. Sadhana is also learning to work. Sadhana is also learning to move among people with least amount of friction. It's very important. So, they will volunteer in various aspects, they will serve in the schools, they will go and work with the rivers, they will do many things. But all of it used as a sadhana for your growth. And I didn't want to just do something because everybody else is doing something. And uh, I, I, I looked at Sadhguru's video and he was saying the best thing to do is to be somewhere where nobody's influencing you, that's what brought me here. I was like doing different jobs, living in different countries. There was always like that restlessness, just looking for something, not knowing what it is I'm looking for. So at some point, like after a couple of years, I really like I hit a wall and just that frustration and anger became like so big that uh, it was really unbearable actually to, to live like that. You cannot give happiness if you're not profoundly happy. You cannot give peace to the world if you're not profoundly peaceful. So I knew that I was not in that place where I could be the best version of myself to give out to the world. Sadhana Pada came into my life when I was longing for something more. There was some stiffness within my body there for a few years and in the last uh, two weeks I've been seeing my body is becoming so much more flexible. Being here uh, I've noticed uh, improvements over the last two months, being more flexible, being able to stay more in the posture itself. Change in the temperature, the change in the food, the change in the... Uh, especially like how open people are, how much like people in India are very celebrative. Yeah, also it helped me to open up to be more joyful when there's some music to, you know, jump around and just have fun. So part of my seva was accompanying a, a large group of people that were visiting from Russia on the southern sojourn yatra. Being on this journey with them, it made me more joyful. It like, I, I didn't really have, I didn't really worry about food or sleep. It was always about what, what can I do next to enhance their experience. And uh, in, in the end, I ended up getting more than what I gave. We have to deal with different schedules. We have to deal with some deadlines. Even though we had so many things like this, I don't get stressed, I don't get um, overwhelmed. It's just simply a joy. The first contact for me with Satguru was with the YouTube video. So just being there and making sure that it reaches people in my language and in other languages is just such a privilege. It was such a profound experience going to all of the temples, doing this chanting, it was so intense, not only to give a physical um, offering, but knowing that I'm actually offering myself to this whole experience. This chant was really, really powerful and it made a huge change because it was stepping out of a comfort zone, stepping out, out of the comfort zone of being cold, of being wet, of uh, having to walk barefoot the whole way and the whole process really helped to stabilize myself. Being here, as I said, a consecrated space and, uh, you know, with this kind of support that the coordinators and the volunteers are giving, it just makes you want to voluntarily get up at the time and do everything. Knowing that I can be in this space, like, which is obviously consecrated by Satguru and Satguru will be here physically also, it was really one of the main reasons why I felt I had to come here. It's been an 
unique experience for me to have a very close experience with celebrating celebration in the ancient culture from the Bali, Navaratri, now Ponga. Every day is a, a celebration, every day. Ponga dances are really exciting, it was so much fun. Um, I really enjoyed wearing the saris. This is actually the first time I'm wearing a sari and jewelry, like Indian jewelry like that. If there's one thing that I was going to take back uh, with me, it's the meaning of the word gratitude. It's something that's going to help me everywhere, in life in general. What has happened for me was that my boundaries got crushed completely. When I came here, I was a bit like an island. Didn't really want to connect to a whole lot of people and that definitely has changed. But like not on the surface level, it's like more, it's really on a deeper level. How effective a life you will be is essentially determined by what is the level of clarity you have and how much balance you have. This will allow you the freedom to traverse this life as you wish. So we want to see that people take this six-month break and invest upon their own growth, clarity and balance. If these two things happen, we will have better human beings and a better world for sure. So this is what this sadhana pada is about.